welcome to Early Access Control Alpha, Beta, and Abandoned. And we are taking a look at Divergence Online. It is a game um, that has been kind of around the MMORPG scene since about 2012. Um, it's not a game that uh, is new by any means. And it was a game that I actually you know, wanted to back a long time ago on Kickstarter. But I think I spent uh, my kind of crowdfunding money on um, a couple other failed projects along the way. And unfortunately, um, yeah, this one didn't do any better. And um, when it hit Steam, uh, you can see in 2016, it didn't pick up traction. Uh, I think people were kind of over this whole divergence online and they were over, you know, other games that kind of failed as well, like the repopulation and games that were very similar to this. So, um, you know, it's not a knock to uh, Stained Glass Llama um, about the, you know, their product right now. Um, it really sucks that it failed. Um, and I really wish it could have been, I uh, could have hopped in and kind of checked it out, but unfortunately it's not in a working state. I can't even make a, make a, an account to log in. And I'd like to do that in my, in my videos. I purchase the game. I, um, show you kind of its state and where it's at and, uh, if it's actually playable in it's early access, you know, lifetime. And, um, yeah, this one is not, um, so it was an immediate uh, refund and, I probed around a little bit to try to get the scoop um, because I have followed this for a little little while and I joined the Discord and I was like, hey, you know, what's up? So what I did was I had a brief exchange with the, the developer. Um, it didn't go well, <laughs> to say the least. Um, you can say he's probably jaded uh, quite a bit, but um, I'm not going to, you know, I'll kind of like uh, surmise what I, what I can here. I don't want to read it all. I, you know, I hate doing that. So, um, basically I ask him, um, you know, why can't, why I can't register. Um, you can please pause this and read for yourself. if You're actually looking for a little bit more in depth of exactly what was said, but I'll read the key points. Um, so uh, I asked them what was going on. I can't log in and they're well aware of it. They said it correct. And I was like, okay, well, what, what about your other game? Apparently they launched another game to in order to i guess help fund this one um a lot of the indie developers do that when one game isn't succeeding they take a new idea or a new spin on the current idea and try to sell those on early access it's a terrible fucking idea and it really pisses me off because it never works there's not one single game that has launched initially and they've sold a second product that actually it has helped their first product uh, there's none there's none at all um so Let's just forget that um, really, really stupid idea. And anyways, um, so I asked them, uh, you know, why, what's going on with that? Why don't you just pull your, your price or your page, your store page? And they said, they gave me the typical song and dance that a lot of developers do. They say they can't, they say, you know, they don't have access to it. And while that's true, they don't have access to the back end of, um, of steam to make changes themselves there is a, a formal procedure that they have to follow they have to email they have to probably fill out forms they have to do certain things and i've talked to developers that the procedure might take a few weeks sometimes to kind of get it done but you got to be on top of it you got to want to kind of accomplish it and if you're not pushing to get these things done steam's steam's not going to do it for you and they don't really care anyways they'd, they'd rather leave everything up so people are buying it and they're generating their own revenue off sales then they don't really care what they're selling we we kind of established that, right? Um, so I mean, sometimes the developers are, you know, they feel the same. They don't really care that they're selling a product that doesn't work. So, anyways, I go and I ask, and he kind of gives me the song and dance about like, you know, it's not possible, blah blah blah. And then he goes on to get say a couple more rude, uh, rude uh, remarks that I don't really kind of want to get into. And then. Um, Sorry, uh, I go on to be like, um, I have no doubt it's been challenged for you. It's a, it's a common tale. You guys are not the only ones that have suffered this fate. Not that it makes it any easier. All I want to, all I do know for certain is that you can get your game pulled or have the pur purchase button removed. I know many games devs that have done that. I don't believe Steam is intentionally giving you the runaround. It's more likely that you are just sick and tired of dealing with it and don't want to bother anymore, which I can kind of, kind of understand. But in, if this is the case. I have zero sympathy for what's occurring right now. You're free to do whatever you want, but in my opinion, just hoping it goes away does not help you or Stained Glass Llama. It only makes Dio and its image worse. And so he gets a little, little bit snarky here. Um, thanks, but I actually have, I actually already knew I was free to do as I like, but I've been doing it two years now without anyone else's permission. And I'm quite satisfied with the results. As far as my image, 
with a microscopic colony of partially intelligible pond scum floating in the piss pool in steam's uncapped backyard somewhere it's not important to me with regards to what's occurring now so what's occurring now is he's, he's just selling a, a product um and just leaving it up that doesn't work and you know it's kind of that's why I make these videos about abandoned games to try to get rid of this shit so we don't have to comb through these fucking things and look for the actual titles that are actually still actively being developed regardless of having you know a shitty revenue um, generating model or like uh, shitty reviews but people but those good devs are actually still hard at work working on their dream, dream projects and um, so whatever that you know let's just <laughs> leave that alone so what's occurring now is uh could be occurring forever honestly let the page stay up forever let them swim past it and remind themselves of what they could have had if only they'd spent a little less time making the developers lives miserable for the crime of wanting to bring back games bring good b games back to the era to the era of battleground diablo immortal mass effect and drama goat shit What's occurring now is exactly what your community wanted to happen. Enjoy it because we're as gone as the days are long. So there you have it. They're probably not going to come back. They don't really care. Um, in their mind or in this developer's mind, he he seems to blame the community, I think, for not liking his product. And you know what? No offense, dude. There's a lot of other games that are better than Divergence Online that failed as well. And it's nothing against Divergence Online or, you know, whatever you, whatever you want to take from it. It's just... There's so many games out there and you've got, you know, this as a game developer, when you're putting something out that your competition is going to be tough. I don't know what, um, what you, anybody else wants to take, take from that. Um, I don't really feel all, you know, good about it. So hopefully, um, when you come uh, by uh, divergence online, you give, uh, this kind of, uh, a second thought and, um, really kind of be like, Hmm. You know, there's a lot of other developers out there that could be acting the exact same way as this person. And you got to kind of really scrutinize the titles that you're going to invest your money in and support and, uh, you know, really kind of be on top of uh, how you want to be active in the early access community. Um, so it goes on just to me to say something's kind of snarky back and blah, blah, blah. And it's all good. So you can, um, you know, you can pause it and read that if you want. So I really don't have anything more to say about Divergence Online. Um, it was a game I actually was genuinely interested in. Um, I like sci-fi, I like uh, large, huge open worlds, and I was championing for this for a, a while. And unfortunately, this is where it's sitting now. It's um, it's not going to be pulled down. It's definitely abandoned. And I encourage you, if you if you do own it, to report it um, and do not purchase it and avoid anything by stained glass llama and do not purchase their other game which is divergence year zero um so that's uh, that doesn't work either um so yeah so this is divergence online um abandoned uh and we'll move on to the next one uh hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, like subscribe and we'll see you later thanks